Hey guys, Protoballer14 here again, and I'm going to show you through the Tadao board. Uh, basically, the startup, the status bar, the maintenance and modes, I guess you could say. And if I have enough time on this video, I'll show how to install it. But, or not, I'll make another video. So, as I turn the web on, the startup menu will show blinking red. And I'll turn it off so I can show you guys that. Blinking red means there is an exhausted battery. Blinking yellow means there's a low battery. And blinking blue means there's a good battery. See, there's blinking blue. There is a good battery. So now, this is the status, is what Tadal calls it. Blinking blue means there's no ball detected. Turn my finger down here. It's solid blue. That means there is a ball detected in the breach. If I had some sort of eye malfunction, then it would be. Blinking yellow, and to turn eyes off, blinking red. Now to go into program mode, you turn the gun off, hold the trigger, turn it on. It will blink through a whole bunch of colors. Green is debounce. Let's uh, to make sure that there's no bouncing going around on the trigger and that every pull is registered. It is a 1 to 25 scale, and I have mine set to 20. Uh, let's see here. Purple is dwell. That's on a 2 to 10 scale, and that's how long your bolt stays back before being shot. And mine is at 5. Next, we have yellow, which is logger delay. It's on a scale from 1 to 10, and I have mine at 2. And that's how long the uh, board will keep the bolt back. Uh, time to go for a slow loader. Next, we have blue, which is your anti mechanical bounce. It's because there is a sear in there, it will um, prevent bouncing between the sear. And that is on a scale of 1 to 4, and I have mine set on 1. Next, we have white, which is firing modes. I have mine set on firing mode 2, which is semi adjustable. Uh, firing mode 1 is semi uncapped. Semi adjustable, PS2 semi, PS3 50 shot, 50%, so it's a PSP and Millennium 100%, PSP 3 shot, MXL full auto, auto response, 50% ramp, 100% ramp, and firing mode 12 is full auto. Next we have uh, teal. And that is max rate of fire on a scale of 1 being 10 and 22 being unlimited, eyes on, 25 balls per second, eyes off. We'll have flickering green next, which shows our eye mode. And that's on a scale of 1 to 2. 1 is forced, as in you pull the trigger and hold it down. And it'll shoot whether there's a ball in there or not. And number two being delayed, where it will wait a couple of milliseconds before shooting, just to make sure there's that ball in there too. Next, we have flickering purple, which is cycle percentage filter. And that's just one more bounce protection as high as you can say it. That's on a scale of 1 to 10, and I have mine at 3. Next, we have flickering yellow which is ramp start and that's how many pulls per second you need to do before ramping kicks in that's on a scale from 4 to 14 and I have mine at 5 next we have blinking blue that would be G mode and that's Tadao's own little breakout cheater mode and that's on a scale of 1 to 4 being one shot you pull and it will automatically go into shooting Cheater mode, four being off, and I have it set off. Next, we have flickering red, which is bolt delay, and that's how long the bolt stays back to compensate for your loader or whatever else you might want to have it stay back for. It's on a scale of one to fifteen, and mine is at seven. Last but not least, we have flickering white, and that is post mechanical dwell. Or PWN dwell is what they have it on the Tadao sheet. That is on a scale of 1 to 10, and I have that at 3. That is just 
the uh, time that essentially it's registering on the trigger for. Now to choose a mode, what you do is you go to the mode display, like right, this is debound, hold the trigger until it starts to blink. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 18, 19, 20. And then you pull it the number of times you want to register. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So it'll blink back when it's done. Yeah, looks like I must have turned off the marker during that process. So let's just go back in and make sure. And it is back on 20. Pull it in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Just where I want. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20. Then you let it register. Just let it register. Then it blinks back out. And then you turn the gun off. That is the Corral board, and I think we are just out of time. Look at my next video for how to install it. Little bar 14, and have a good day.